Tubers, how is everybody doing? I hope you've been having a great, great, great September. It's probably the last week by this time you see this video and I, I hope you've made the most of this month and I hope you've been planning ahead for the next one. Make sure you're prepared before October 1st for the plan for October. Always be ahead in the game and always stay ahead in your head. All right, that actually rhymed. Anyways, for those of you who are new here, my name is Rishi Raj. I am an Amazon FBA seller and an entrepreneur and product manager and a lot of other things. Basically a hustler and I'm so happy that you found this channel. I can't really appreciate your attention and the love that all of you guys are actually bringing to this channel. Thank you so much for your support and I will keep making all of these videos for you guys and keep bringing value because I just love helping you guys out. Alright, so the subject of this video is going to be one of the most infamous questions that I've been asked all over the internet in every FBA group that I've been in from everybody that I've met in person, be it a new seller, be it a professional seller, be it a random person whom I talk about my business with. Everybody whom I've ever met, I think 90% of the folks have asked me this question and I'm gonna answer this for you guys in this video. Why do I not sell on Amazon ATR? So stay tuned for it, watch till the end because I've got some amazing things and announcements too for you guys. Before that, we have to play that intro. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go over a couple of reasons and basically help you understand why do I not sell on Amazon India. But primarily, I'll probably talk about this in some other video. I basically had an advantage to start on Amazon USA when I did back in 2013. Now I'm gonna be talking about my backstory in some other video. Let me know if you guys really wanna know about my past experience with Amazon and how did I start? How did I end up selling on FBA? And how did I reach till this point? So. Let me know if you're interested in, in hearing more of that, but all I would like to tell you right now is that in 2013, I actually started selling on Amazon via dropshipping because I just had a very good connection with the factory and a logistics system in place, which really took care of the entire shipment from India to the customer in the United States. So it was basically a matter of getting orders from customers on amazon.com. And I used to compete in buy box. I used to basically, you know, uh, I was actually selling my own brand product. Although selling a branded product at that time under your own brand was very simple. I basically just photoshopped a bunch of pictures and started selling on Amazon, but it doesn't work like that anymore. But anyway, so that is one reason why did I start on Amazon FBA? That's basically because I had already tested the waters. I had already experienced the entire process of starting or launching a product on Amazon. Although it was dropshipping, it was still a product. And I also had been shut a couple of times by Amazon.com and I had written a letter to them and got my account uh, reactivated. So I had been through all of those things. So it was probably not a big hurdle for me in terms of uh, you know thinking about starting on Amazon from India because I was already selling on it until 2016 uh, Again, like I'll keep that for another video. Why did I stop selling on to uh, on Amazon in 2016? And why did I reboot my business in 2017? But that was one of the reasons the other couple of reasons that I'm talking about is kind of a little bit obvious But again, like the obvious things are something that you usually miss out on so one of the reasons that I did not pursue selling on Amazon India. I, I could have actually started selling on Amazon India in parallel to selling on Amazon USA just because it's very simple. It's my home country. I've been living here and I understand the ecosystem. So, but I still couldn't do it because to sell on Amazon India, I had to have a GST number. That basically meant I had to have a company registered even before I started making money, which did not really seem feasible to me because 
I did not have a lot of money when I was starting. I was actually saving up uh, as much as I could. I've got my education loan going on, which I'm still paying. I'll probably shut it off next year. So yeah, that's what's happening. And that is why I did not really want to spend money without a good return. And there are other reasons which actually back this reason for me. Uh, I could have simply gone ahead and registered a company. It doesn't really cost a lot. But there are some other reasons which I'm going to be discussing now and those were the actual reasons why it, I did not really favor selling on Amazon India. Alright, but first uh, let me just announce the winner from the previous video. Hit me up on Messenger, let's connect and let's make this work. And if you want to win a one-on-one -on -one call with me, you know what to do already. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and drop a comment under this video. And obviously don't forget to join my FBA group. All right, so the second reason because of which I actually steered away from even thinking about selling in India is because of the Indian ecosystem and the buyer mindset in India. So the Indian ecosystem is very different than the United States ecosystem or probably some other country. I don't really know about UK or Canada or Australia right now. I've been dealing in Amazon US, so I have a good idea about that. But in India, the ecosystem is absolutely destroyed by the e-commerce player in India. In India, the minds of the people, it, and this is not a new thing, this has been there since ages. The minds of the people in India is that the more discount you give them, the more people will flock towards your store. So when the Indian ecosystem started having a lot of e-commerce player coming in, like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal, Ask Me Bazaar, all of these companies, as soon as they started entering the market, the only model that they had was to give discounts on discounts on discounts and, and get or acquire their competitors' customers just by giving discounts. Now, in my opinion, that's really an unsustainable strategy and a lot of companies have actually shut down who've been trying to do that. But it has been always about discounts and what has happened now is that because of this process and because of implementing super 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 easy way to return products in india just because people in india again like try like to try a lot before they actually make their final purchase yes you heard me right in india people really like to order a bunch of things try everything and if they like something they'll keep it and they will return everything else and they might even order from different companies from different stores from different e-commerce portals and do the same thing so you can imagine the number of returns the Indian e-commerce stores have. It is massive. It is massive. There, the number of returns you cannot even imagine. The only way you can actually steer away from having a lot of returns is by targeting really, really, really elite customers who really know, uh, you know, who really have a buying intent and who really wouldn't want to take the hassle of returning and exchanging and just trying out a lot of products. So the moral of the story, due to high returns in India, a lot of sellers have even stopped selling, especially on Amazon.com. A lot of sellers have actually backed out of the e-commerce space. A lot of sellers have actually given up in this market. And that is why I did not really want to get into this space without a proper strategy. And I think I have a strategy to compete against this ecosystem as well. I have a strategy which can actually help me reduce my return quotient as against to the number of orders that I get substantially, but I'm gonna test that sometime in 2019. So for now, that's my reason, that's my second reason, and that's why I did not really think about starting my product or starting an FBA product in Amazon India as of now. Third reason, which is actually a beneficial reason for me, is the USD to INR conversion. The US dollar to Indian rupee conversion is right now at 73 rupees. So one USD is actually equivalent to 73 rupees. So you can imagine if I make $10, it's actually equivalent to 730 bucks. Now, just to give you some perspective uh, from my day job, and don't tell me I told you this, from my day job, I make about 100 US dollars on a daily basis by working 20 days at my company. And on Amazon, while I sleep at my night from 11 p.m. till 6 a.m. in the morning, I make about 150 to 200 dollars on average. So you can imagine the amount of money that I'm making. It's really 2.5 times my monthly salary at a corporate job. So 
it's actually mind boggling at times but that's what's happening and that is why I chose to start selling on Amazon.com as opposed to Amazon India because uh, as you must know and as you must have heard that Amazon is a cash heavy business, cash flow heavy business and you really need to take out the money to place orders again and again. So I can do that and I can also sometimes withdraw some money out of the business if I want it for my personal use. Because of this extensive ratio of conversion, I can actually withdraw some money and use it for my own benefit if I want to. That's actually a very big plus point in my mind and that's why I would also advise a lot of you guys to sell on Amazon.com even though there are a lot of hurdles, even though uh, things are not at your arm's reach, you are going to be dealing internationally completely and there are a lot of hurdles as well when you're selling from Amazon, when you're selling from in a country like India or probably any other country outside of US, in US, there are a lot of hurdles and I would still advise you, you know, figure out those solutions, basically just ignite the entrepreneur in you and as an entrepreneur it's your uh, duty to find solutions and find your build your own route as you progress towards building your future so that was it guys one last thing that i have on my list is actually self-confidence and that usually comes when you're doing your research right when you when you're learning everything correctly when you're you know double checking triple checking all of your steps now, just to be again, like just to give you some perspective, when I was starting out with FBA, I actually poured in every cent that I have in my pocket. I did not really have a lot of buffer money in my bank account. I had to, you know, uh, save up for a couple of months before I even started. I had to even use my credit cards at times when I was placing my orders. That did get me a lot of credit points, and I love American Express for that. But anyways, you need to have a lot of self confidence. You need to actually learn how to solve problems. You need to actually learn how to use uh, your skills to find solutions. You need to actually learn how to use Google. I cannot fathom how many people who are actually starting out businesses, who are actually even thinking about starting out businesses, don't even know how to use Google. And don't get surprised; you could be one of them. A lot of people in my school time, in my college time actually just, just came to me just to ask for information that's already available on the, in, on the internet and I, I would just go to my laptop, find it on the internet and go and tell them the solution that they were looking for and they would think that I'm super smart, I'm kind of like the person who can basically get all of the answers. It was nothing but basically I knew how to use Google and trust me, a lot of you don't know how to use Google to find the answers. So I would really advise you to do learn that and have a lot of self-confidence and that would come from learning a lot of things. So do that and those were my reasons why I don't sell on Amazon India. I'm not sure if anyone of you is convinced or not convinced still. If you have any more questions or if you wanna if if you wanna dwell on any of the topics further, drop them down below in the comments and I'm I'll be happy to discuss. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Alright, so that was it for this video guys. Till then Take care, keep crushing it and by the way, I'm actually gonna go for a trip tomorrow. I'll probably even shoot some videos out there. I'm going to a hill station nearby this, uh, nearby my city uh, with a couple of friends. I'm gonna drive. I just love driving. So let's see how does that go. Let's see if I can make some videos out there. Let's see if I can show you a short film about the place I visit. Also, I must mention this little lady is here. You know why? Well, if you want to know why is she here in my arms, you'll have to wait and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you understand why am I gonna be celebrating and there's a big, 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 big milestone that I've recently hit. I'm gonna be talking about that in the next video, so please, please, please hit that subscribe button because I'm super excited to talk to you about that. All right then, take care, talk to you later. See you next time. Namaste.